My inspiration for saying yes and accepting the challenge to be a 2012 Woman of the Year candidate came from my mom. When my mom was diagnosed with follicular lymphoma, they didn't give her a choice to say no. They didn't come to her and say, do you want to have cancer? So when the Leukemia Lymphoma Society came to me and said, do you want this challenge? Will you accept this challenge? I couldn't help but think of my mom and her challenge and the challenge that she overcame. I was inspired to be part of the uh, Man of the Year campaign uh, by my friend Harry Jones who won it last year and personally uh, I lost my mother to leukemia in 2001. My uncle Mark passed away in 2010 from the disease and I lost my grandfather as a young child. So it's had a very large impact on our family. I just think that we have a lot more yesterdays than we do tomorrows. So it's important to live every day to the fullest and being able to help people in this campaign um, do that and have access to so many more resources than they would have without the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society has inspired me. My inspiration is my great family friend Brody Hyde who was diagnosed with leukemia three years ago and had a very hard struggle with it, had to have a bone marrow transplant and now he's doing great thanks to the efforts of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. One is that I've been involved in two past campaigns, Heath Ponder in 2009 and Wendy Wilkerson in 2011. And most importantly, my sister is celebrating 25 years of being cancer free. I was honored to be nominated for the campaign by Ruth Bartlett, who was the woman of the year last year. I truly respect her dedication to organizations such as LLS. She's truly an inspiration. And when she asked me to do the campaign, I immediately knew it was something I wanted to do. And also wanted to do it in honor of two loved ones that I've lost to cancer, including my grandmother, and most recently my Uncle Steve, who passed away this past March, right before the campaign kicked off. My inspiration really comes from uh, when I was a child, and uh, that my very best friend, her sister, developed leukemia and passed away from leukemia. And back then, the diagnosis of leukemia lymphoma was really a death sentence but through a research dollars and research uh, that has occurred, uh, particularly through LLS, uh, diagnosis of leukemia and lymphoma is no longer a death sentence. My inspiration to be Woman of the Year candidate um, came from my great uncle who passed away in 2010 from multiple myeloma and I just wanted to carry on his legacy of always giving back to everybody and helping others. I initially got involved in LLS Man of the Year in support of my good friend Bill Godshaw who is a cancer survivor and he was a candidate in 2010. Since that time we lost a friend of ours, uh, Michael Funk, who's a cross the street neighbor to leukemia and he was only age 45. And then earlier this year, Chris Whitmire lost his father to leukemia and then another family in our neighborhood, um, Lisa and Sam Willis, they have a 12-year-old son. He's battling lymphoma. So when I was asked, how could I say no? My inspiration for becoming a candidate is definitely the memory of my father. He passed away last year after an 11-month battle with acute myeloid leukemia. And when I think of the amount of strength and courage and fight that he eluded on a daily basis, it helps to push me every day and help me reach my own personal goals. And it's definitely an honor for me to be doing this campaign in his memory. My brother-in-law's mom, Mary Ann, who died from multiple myeloma. She was the most amazing woman. And I've had to watch my niece and nephew grow up without her. And I'm so sad for that because I just think they would have loved to have known her. And then I started thinking about just the community and about what Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does and what a great cause it is. And I truly believe to whom much is given, much is expected. I've been a huge supporter of the society since 2007 when my very dear friend was diagnosed with stage two Hodgkin's lymphoma. And watching him go through that fight and watching the circle of caregivers around him, his wife Tracy, his mother Mary, all of the friends and family that really gathered together to support Rich through this fight was a huge inspiration to me. Personally, I was touched a few years ago when my mom passed away from cancer. So when I was asked to be a candidate for the Man of the Year for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society by a very close friend and a two-time cancer survivor. I started researching the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society to learn more, and I was really blown away by the caliber of the people, by the percentage of money that goes directly to fund research, and that the funds that we're raising today could eventually save my life or yours or the life of our kids and countless others. 